NordVPN allows you to surf the web anonymously while protecting your financial data, passwords, emails, and interests from hackers and even your own ISP. Follow the link in the description for 75% off a three-month plan to NordVPN. Hey, what's up? People Piz out here, and today I want to talk to you guys about 1985's The Stuff, written and directed by the late Larry Cohen. Now, this video is going to be entirely dedicated to reviewing Larry Cohen's The Stuff. I'm using this Blu-ray only as a reference point. Um, this is a really nice Blu-ray from Arrow Video. I love the artwork there on the cover, and it's from this Blu-ray that I most recently watched, The Stuff. If you guys aren't familiar with Larry Cohen, he is one of the most fiercely independent filmmakers um, ever. He's the man behind the It's Alive series. He's the man behind Cue the Winged Serpent, God Told Me To, The Ambulance. He wrote the screenplays for Cellular and Phone Booth. He's got just a, a prodigious a resume. Uh, however, unfortunately, he recently passed away, and that was a really sad moment for just movie fans in general, I think, because, as I said, he was just a very fiercely independent uh, filmmaker, and he always made really unique, um, left-of-center kinds of movies that I always seem to enjoy. And the stuff is, without doubt, my favorite of Larry Cohen's films. And the stuff stars Michael Moriarty, a, a frequent collaborator of Larry Cohen's. Mr. Moriarty was cast as the lead in many, many uh, of Larry Cohen's films. But Mr. Moriarty plays the character Mo Rutherford, who is a private investigator and expert in corporate espionage. He uh, His name is Mo because, as he explains in the movie, whenever my friends give me money, I always want Mo. And Mr. Rutherford has been hired by a competing company to unlock the mysteries behind the stuff. And what is the stuff, you may ask? It is the dessert sensation that has swept across the nation. It's this white, fluffy, ice cream-like dessert that everybody just can't get enough of. People are eating it hand over fist. It's all over the media. The stuff is everywhere. But are you eating it or is it eating you? And pretty soon Mr. Rutherford discovers that the stuff is this substance that is seeping up through the surface and the company behind the stuff is fully aware that it's turning people into basically zombies that the stuff actually can attack people very much like the blob, only a very white fluffy a uh, marshmallow cream looking kind of a uh, blob. And I love marshmallow cream. And whenever I watch the stuff, I just, I want to eat a lot of marshmallow cream. And Mr. Rutherford is aided in his attempts to bring awareness to the stuff and the fact that it is eating people from the inside out. And the fact that the company behind the stuff is fully aware of this but they just don't care because they're making too much money by a young man whose family has been taken over by the stuff by Garrett Morris, one of the original SNL cast members who plays a character named Chocolate Chip and a woman who was formerly uh, a PR person who helped the, the stuff gain the uh, notoriety that it has gained and helped put the stuff in basically the refrigerators of every family in the country. And what I love about the stuff is that on one hand, the film is a really entertaining, super fun B movie creature feature with all the elements that you could possibly want in that kind of movie. However, on the other hand, the stuff is an absolutely scathing indictment and satire on corporate corruption and corporate greed. At the time, Larry Cohen was inspired by the cigarette companies and the pharmaceutical companies uh, who are were creating products that they knew were harmful to people but didn't care because they were making so much money off the products. However, today, I think the message behind the stuff is even more powerful when you take into account all of the genetically modified 
products that we're consuming every day that are making us sick and the companies behind them are fully aware of how bad they are, but they're, they don't care because they're just making too much money off of them. And Mr. Cohen is able to deliver this message to the viewer without being preachy under the guise of a really fun B movie creature feature. And he juggles both of those elements just expertly delivering Again, a really fun B-movie creature feature that makes you think. The cast from top to bottom are fantastic in this stuff. Uh, we have uh, supporting roles from Danny Aiello and Paul Sorvino in the film. And Paul Sorvino's uh, performance as the head of this militia is just fantastic. I loved his character in the movie, loved his dialogue, just absolutely uh, hilarious. The movie is so well written. The movie is so well made too. This was clearly a lower budget movie, but it still has that really epic kind of feel to it. And the production values are really high. And all of the, the commercials that were made to like, <laughs> to promote the stuff uh, are, are fantastic. All of the stuff effects and gags in the movie are also really well done. I really cannot say enough good things about the stuff. It's, a really entertaining B-movie creature feature with a message behind it and a really important message, I think. It's well-written. The acting is good. Um, the satire is totally on point. I, I just love the stuff. And I think the stuff is really kind of the perfect Larry Cohen movie. Fiercely independent, really well-made, really well-written, a, a horror movie, a creature feature with a social message. And I don't know. I've always loved the stuff. Um, I've wanted to talk about the movie on this channel for quite some time. It's too bad that uh, it took the death of Larry Cohen to finally kind of motivate me to want to sit down and talk about this movie. But um, nevertheless, I love the stuff. I cannot recommend it any higher. If you've not seen the stuff, go out and check out the stuff again can't recommend it any higher r.i.p mr cohen thank you for all of the great films that you made over the years if you've seen the stuff by all means let me know your thoughts on it down in the comment section below let me know what your favorite larry cohen movie or movies are down in the comments section below as well. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. They're also right around here. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care. And until next time, peace. Oof. Feeling a bit peckish here. I think I'll, I think I'll have me a snack. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Join the A Buck A Month Club and help support my channel on Patreon. Thank you to my current patrons, Kevin Smythe, Orc145626, B-Movie Mike, Robert Sobel, Turi Delamore, Stephen Flanagan, Lori Holt, Mitch O'Dell, Farron Sutton, Craig Farrand, Jeremiah Lambert, Grindhouse Grotto, Joseph Charlesworth, Chris Earls, Derek Janna, Demon Waffles, Simon Clark, Stone Gassman, Zachary Barton, Mr. Bibby86, James Welch, Eli Geisler, Jeff Overing, Alan Scott, Kyle McGuire, Jay the Stingray, Lauren Dick. Dixon, Travis Davis, Dave Barnes, Jonathan Lundy, Chris Parsons, Chris Gonzalez, Trenton Bowser, and Jason Brattenback. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.